Hi everyone, so in this video I'll show you how to calculate LCA results. In the Activity Browser and in Brightway we have a concept called Calculation Setups. And the idea is that you can by default calculate LCA results for several functional units and impact categories at the same time. So how do we do this? We first need to create a new calculation setup. So let's create a new one and call this um, power production. Let's just go to the econvent database and add a couple of functional units. So let's search for electricity and typically you want to add something like high uh, voltage. And now we have uh, a bunch of electricities. Let me just uh, take uh, three different ones here. So it's lignite versus wind versus natural gas. Um, and then we want to add some impact categories and uh, let's just add a let's just add a number of uh, recipe methods so we can also filter this by recipe if we like uh, midpoint right so uh, let's take these four methods here i just drag and drop them in here and now we have a calculation set up for three functional units and four methods and all you need to do now is to hit the calculate button you're landing on this lca results screen which gives you an overview of the impact scores for one of these lcia methods you can switch between these and compare the results you can also switch to the overview tab which is basically a two-dimensional matrix with the colors representing the impact and here we actually see the three functional units as rows and the columns are the different impact categories. So here we have all the results in one go. You also often see this option that you can either just look at the plot or you can uh, see both or you can see the table. And, and that table actually contains the same data as you're seeing in the plot. And you can easily export either the plot as a figure, as a picture, or you can copy the data from that table or export it to disk. Now, what else do we have in here? Well, we also have the inventory flows. So this is the lifecycle inventory for the different uh, functional units. So we have these three functional units here, and these are the biosphere flows for your product system. This may be useful for analyzing specific flows, or you can also export that to Excel. We also provide the technosphere flows. Maybe you're also interested in knowing which products uh, across the modeled economy are required to produce your output. You can check that here. Now we also have a contribution analysis and by default, we um, distinguish elementary flow contributions and process contributions. The elementary flow contributions are the contributions from the environmental flows. So let me just for simplicity take uh, climate change here as a method and you will see that most of the impacts are coming from uh, the red one here is now carbon dioxide fossil but we also have different compartments of uh, carbon dioxide or methane in here you can aggregate this also for example just by the name and um, therefore make it much easier we ignore the categories we, we we sum up the categories now so the different compartments to to which carbon dioxide in air was released and that way you can get a different view on this maybe a simplified view there is also another way of looking at this and here we're comparing functional units but we may also want to compare across impact categories just to see where the the main issues are so now we've We've switched this and we're actually only looking at lignite. So or only at the first functional unit and, and we can select other functional units. Note that this is possible because this is a, a relative scale. If you were to flip this to absolute, then you still get the absolute numbers, but you don't see anything here, for example, because that's uh, probably a really small number. But this is also nice if you want to compare it by functional units, then you can switch between relative and absolute. All right, this works very similar for process contributions. Here we're looking into the question 
of which activities across the uh, technosphere, across the economic system, cause most of the impacts. And um, let me just also switch this to climate change. Here we can see it's quite a lot of information in here, and that is because each equivalent activity always has a product, uh, an activity name, and a, a geography, which makes it unique. This is the only way of showing the contribution analysis at the activity level, but we can, of course, aggregate this, for example, by reference product. We, we see this condensed. Now we see, for example, clinker here, but this could be uh, different processes producing this clinker. We we can also aggregate by a different logic, for example, by a location, and then we will see where in the world um, these impacts are generated, at least according to Econvent. And of course, we can switch this again between relative and, and absolute. Further, we have a bunch of um, more advanced tabs, and the, the one I will still show you here is the Sankai uh, diagram, which um, basically shows you across the supply chain where the impact comes from. So this is your, your um, reference product that you can also choose which one to, to show it for. And we can see that most of the impacts come from here, from this lignite production. And that goes back actually to 40% uh, of the total impact go back to the lignite mine operation. And then you can further trace the, the impacts through the, the supply chain. There is also further more advanced analysis, such as Monte Carlo analysis and sensitivity analysis, which will be covered in another video. All right. Thank you very much for listening, and I hope you enjoyed this video.